Hello, everyone, and we are back for NFL Week 5, Vegas Top Togs YouTube channel. Over there in the green room, we have this week's guest expert, Frank Jordan of VegasTopDogs.com. We'll get to him in one minute. We'll get to a few NFL picks for this week, plus a player prop. Um, before we get to our picks with analysis, make sure you like, subscribe, give us that thumbs up. That's all I ask. Like, subscribe. Thumbs up. You'll be notified each and every time a new video comes out. And be sure to visit VegasTopDogs.com. Free articles. I know Frank has one posted for the baseball playoffs. There's free picks. There's sportsbook bonuses and more. VegasTopDogs.com. Frank, welcome to NFL Week 5. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. You ready to break down a few NFL games for this Sunday? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Before we jump right in, I uh, just want to throw some stats out there for the London game. Our early kickoff Sunday morning, 9.30, p 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. We have Jacksonville versus Buffalo. Current line on this is Buffalo minus 5.5. The total is 48.5. It's a tough game because uh, Jacksonville played in London last week. They stayed over there. They didn't have to travel. Um, they're coming off a big win. While Buffalo had a big win at home versus uh, Division Miami Dolphins, Divisional Miami Dolphin team. Plus, they had to travel over to London. So this is a tricky game. The favorites in these international NFL games are 22 and nine against the spread. I kind of lean towards Buffalo, but um, Jacksonville staying over there. It's the first time this ever happened where a team stayed there for two weeks. You know, you, you may want to go with the the team that's rested and accustomed to. Uh, you know, being over there. Any thoughts on that game? Yeah, it's going to be a tight game. The weird spread between four and seven points is always tricky, and you always got to watch out for that backdoor cover. But I think Buffalo is doing enough on offense, and their defense is tough enough that I think they'll cover that number and probably win by a touchdown. Yeah, I thought this line would be around seven. But uh, it was a tough line. I know last week we gave a prop play in the Jacksonville game. Trevor Lawrence under the total and touchdown passes. He threw one. And that stayed under. That's two in a row with our player props. I'll get to a player prop in the Carolina-Detroit Lions game in one minute. But first, let's jump over to Frank here. And uh, he has a pick in the big matchup between the Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers. Frank, jump right in. Yes, this game is in prime time Sunday night on NBC. Two of the best. You got Dallas 3 and 1 against 4 and 0 San Francisco. And Jerry Jones came out early this week and said this is a big game for Dallas for them to come up and see if they are a top elite team and possibly Super Bowl bound or if they're in that second tier below San Francisco and Philadelphia in the NFC. Dallas comes in at 3-1 and one with wins over the Giants, Jets, and New England. That doesn't seem very impressive, but all of those are by 20 points or more. However, they are just 1-1 one one on the road, losing at Arizona as Dak threw a late interception that iced the game away for the Cardinals. Dallas is in second place in the NFC East with a plus 83 point differential and have really leaned hard on that defense that has come to play more often than not. Another uh, big uh, player that has helped him do well is Pollard, who has 311 rushing yards on the season, with which is fifth in the league, but only two rushing touchdowns and only one game over 100 yards. He has also chipped in 15 catches and 61 rushing yards, uh, receiving yards, but no touchdowns. Uh, yeah, the Dallas defense seems to be scoring more points than the Dallas offense this year. Uh, they did uh, against the Giants, but let's not go there. <laughs> yeah, they did against uh, the Patriots, too. Yes. Dak is tw 27 and 22 on the road with 71 touchdowns and 31, 39 interceptions in his career, and is great in prime time with 21 and 10 record, 49 touchdowns, just 21 interceptions. Dak is kind of tricky against San Francisco. In the regular season, 2 0, 
five touchdowns, no interceptions. Sacked only twice. In the playoffs, 0-2, sacked six times, two touchdowns, three interceptions. So hopefully, you know, regular season Dak against San Francisco shows up for Cowboy fans, but we shall see. On the Niners side, they're in first place, 4-0, 2-0 at home, plus 67 point differential and just steamrolling people. They won 30-7 over Pitt, 30-23 over the Rams, 30-12 over the Giants, and 35-16 and over Arizona, who Dallas failed to beat. Mm-hmm. Brock Purdy is has thrown for 1,019 passing yards, five touchdowns, no interception, and has the top QBR at 84.6, which is out of 100. Christian McCaffrey is tops in the league with 459 yards rushing per uh, total on the year, 5.7 average per down per carry, and six rushing touchdowns. Detroit won. Uh, Detroit. San Francisco won this matchup last year against Dallas in the playoffs, 19 to 12. So a very low scoring game, but that was the defense that came up big. Now get this stat. This is the 40th matchup between these two teams all time. So classic rivalry. Coming in, they're 19-19-1. and Anybody's game. Dallas is 3-1 and against the money line and against the spread this year. San Francisco is 3-0 and against the spread and 3-1 and money line. So this one can go either way. In a very tight one. With the last I saw, it was San Francisco minus 3.5. And I like them to cover, barely, but they will cover 27 23. That's your prediction, 27 23? Yeah. And well, very good information, that. very good research there. Um, I know we're shooting this early in the week. Um, if any of our viewers could find any props for this game, are there any that stand out? Uh, I couldn't find any odds, but I do like McCaffrey to have more rushing yards in the game than Pollard. About you know one hundred two to eighty seven. I think both guys will get off to good starts, but and they'll keep the running game in a close game. But McCaffrey will edge it out with a, a long run thrown in there. I guess with your prediction of uh, twenty seven twenty three, you kind of uh, lean towards the over as well this time around. Yes, I think both offenses are going strong, and it's early in the season, so weather won't be a factor. I haven't checked the forecast as far as rain, but I think it'll be a nice, cool, comfortable night out there in the Bay Area. All right, good stuff. Uh, Like McCaffrey for a player prop, um, San Francisco, and the over, uh, San Fran minus 3.5 over 45 last I saw. Yes. All right, good stuff, good stuff, Frank. Uh, my game comes between the New Orleans Saints and New England Patriots. Now, after the Patriots lost, it was the worst in Bill Belichick's career. Um, they did not look good. They did not play well. I expect them to bounce back. A lot of people are counting them out, saying it's going to be a bad season. But I expect them to bounce back here at home against the Saints. You can't just look at one game and count a team out. Patriots played the Eagles very tough early in their year. They could have won that game. They played Miami very close. They could have won that game. And uh, coming off that huge loss, I expect them to bounce back in a big way here at home. They had three turnovers versus Dallas. They had a ton of penalty yards. I just think they're going to play a much cleaner game, bounce back with a big win. Belichick will have this team ready, and I think they'll get the job done over the Saints. Currently, New England minus one, so it's virtually – pick them situation. I'll take New England at home here to bounce back after that embarrassing loss to get the win. Um, that's an early kickoff, 1 p.m. Eastern here on Sunday. New England Patriots, my YouTube video free selection this week. My player prop, we're going for winner number three in a row. And uh, we've used unders in all of our player props. Uh, we had Geno Smith two weeks ago under uh, touchdown passes. Last week we had um, who did I say? Trevor Lawrence under this week. We're going to go with Jared Goff under 247 passing yards. They're playing Carolina. Carolina defense has been uh, playing pretty good, holding their own. And uh, I think they're going to keep Jared Goff in check. Detroit coming off a big win. I think he's going to stay under 247. 
Jared Goff under 247, my player prop for this week. Guys, be sure to like, subscribe, thumbs up. Make sure you go to VegasTopDogs.com. Frank will have his baseball loaded for the playoffs all week long, plus college and NFL action this weekend. Be sure to check out Frank Jordan. Check out myself, Tony K, and be sure to visit VegasTopDogs.com each and every day. Frank, I'd like to join in. Uh, thank you for joining us this week and uh, providing some uh, valuable information for all our viewers. Be a winner. Hey, that's my line. As always, good luck and be a winner. <laughs>